notice the number of uh, dog fever calls. There are a whole lot of them out there leaving canine owners very con concerned and confused about what food to buy. KTK's Annalise Cobble spoke with a local vet and now joins us live in Tonner to share with how we can all keep our pets safe. Annalise. Neil, the vet we spoke to says that more recalls is not necessarily a bad thing. Thursday, Darwin's natural pet products recalled three lots of their dog food, adding another one to the ever-growing list and giving pet parents an uneasy feeling. We care about what we're giving our dog and not knowing um, is pretty scary. Some recalls are due to too many vitamins in the food or something more serious like salmonella. Dr. Gary Spence says it just means the company's quality control is doing its job. But dog owners should keep a few things in mind when choosing a diet for their pet. A lot of the new wild foods that are coming out has very high protein in it. The protein is too high for a lot of these dogs down in this part of the country and it's burning their kidneys up. He also says what's good for humans is not always good for our four-legged friends. These grain-free diets that are all the big rage is a big mistake because it's ca causing cardiomyopathy which is heart disease in these dogs. And once these dogs develop cardiomyopathy, it's very hard to treat them. Dr. Spence says the best thing you can do for your dog or cat is talk to your veterinarian about their specific nutritional needs. Live in Tyler, Annalise Coble, KETK News.